Hello, today we will be making preparing white pigment. It is called safeda and that is usually the way what we use now is just normal plain zinc white and that is used for almost like a primer or a ground on which to make the painting. So, if you have a normal piece of paper, you would apply a thin wash of safeda or white pigment to close in all the irregularities of the paper or any of the pores and then once it is dry, then you burnish the paper and then you start with the painting. So, we will be doing the very first step of making the uh, preparing the white pigment. Historically, zinc white was not very common in Indian painting. It was mostly lead based uh, whites and also locally sourced organic and mineral uh, pigments that would be used. But uh, after the particularly after the British colonial period, a lot of uh, other pigments began to be European and other pigments were introduced into South Asia. And it is possible that zinc white was also used before, but after definitely the 19th century or so, zinc white became the main uh, priming or ground primer or ground for uh, making uh, using in miniature painting. So, we will be using that since I was also trained by, uh, for to use this particular zinc white. And you can get zinc white from any source from your average paint uh, store, but you can also get them from places like Kramer or any other pigment manufacturers. So, the one that I have been using for a while is from Kramer pigments. Before we start, I can show what we have here, what is the materials that we will be using. First and foremost, you need a muller to grind the pigment and this is what you will use for most almost I would say 80 to 85 percent of the pigments will be made using this technique. And then you also have a frosted glass. Then this is just a container for water and then we have some gum Arabic. And usually I use a palette knife to mix the pigment. So, it is a really simple process for preparing pigments, especially some of the lighter pigments like uh, white. You can take a spoon or, a, or your mixing knife and just put a little bit. Then initially we mix this with water and a little bit of gum arabic. So, it gets bind and into every molecule every particle it gets a little bit of gum arabic. And also mix it a little with a little bit of water. Then we can take our palette knife. So, you saw that I made a little space in between the pigment and that is where I put the water and gum arabic. So, that it does not run away and then we can just mix them. If you think that it is too thick as this might be, you can just add a little bit of more water. So, it becomes like a runny paste. And this is mixed. Then we can put this on the side 
and take the muller and just give it a nice swirl. And that is basically it. Zinc white is a really simple pigment to mix because it's already got very fine particles. A pigment like azurite will take much more. And sometimes when you have a harder pigment, you can actually hear the grinding of the particles. So it takes some more time to just keep on doing that. You can add some water and then keep on doing that. With zinc white, it's really simple. So it's essentially done. And then we can, I usually use this uh, rubber that you can get from a print shop, for example, and just collect it all and then put it in a container. And I just made a little bit today because the next step will be to learn how to prime the surface of the paper. And what we made today will be more than enough for that. This will actually go for a long while. All right. So you can see it's quite thick. What we will do is we'll take another container and then make it into a thin and thin it out considerably before we apply it for on the paper as a ground. So that will be the next step that we will do in order to use the uh, safeda or the white. But before doing that, before we do that, what we need to check is for the consistency of the gum arabic. Because if there's too little gum arabic, the pigment, after it's dried out, it'll start lifting. And if you put too much gum arabic, it'll get shiny. And then maybe within a few weeks or a few months, it'll crackle and then it'll just chip off like a bad paint would on a wall. So we have to make sure that the consistency is perfect. And in order to do that, we just uh, take any brush, mix it with water, and just take a little bit of the white, which already has gum arabic in it. And I didn't put too much gum arabic because in case we need more, it's easier. But if you have too much gum arabic, then it's more complicated because then you have to mix more uh, safeda and then add to it and it takes longer. And then we take, and you could take any paper for that, and you just apply it on the side to see what the consistency is of the white. And then you let it dry for a minute. So once it's dry, the pigment, then you can just uh, use a dry uh, finger and just touch it and make sure it doesn't come off. So this is not coming off, which means that the consistency is right. And you can really rub it, give it a nice rub and see if it's coming off, no. The other thing that you need to see it is to put it in good light and see if it's shiny. If it's too shiny, it means it's got too much gum arabic. Thankfully, this is not shiny. So it seems like the consistency is pretty good. So now we can actually continue with our next step, which will be to prime the ground of the paper.